Okay, before we get started, I want to highlight a particular video that I found on YouTube. I can't really take any credit for, but I think it's absolutely perfect for this component, especially learning AIM A. So before you look at anything, I would ask you all to look at this video here. Now, if you're online, um, if you just go to YouTube and type in the history of the graphic user interface, you'll find it there. Uh, as I said, I can't take any credit for it. If you're in my class, you're going to find this link in the shared area. And this is what it looks like. I'm not going to play the whole thing. I just want to show you. And I think it's just a great way, a great way of getting you into understanding uh, graphical user interfaces or user interfaces in general, where they started and, and where they are now and the journey that I had to take to be where it is right now. This is going to make it so much easier for you to do, especially the research section. Um, of this component one. So let's watch the first part of this. And as I said, I'm, we're not going to watch the whole thing because the sound quality is not going to be good. It's best if you go online, go to YouTube and find this. Or like I said, if you're my lesson, go to the shared area and it will be there. In this short video, I'll look at the history of the graphic user interface. This is a summary of one of my class lectures. We've added video clips from around the web as reference. So sit back and enjoy the history of the graphic user interface. To begin with, let's familiarise ourselves with the two main types of computer user interfaces, the command line interface and the graphic user interface. Firstly, there's the command line interface. Okay, I'm just going to stop here now. Way of interacting with a computer web. As I said, please find this video. I know it's 12 minutes long, but well worth watching. It'll give you a, a nice, clean understanding of where things are. And if you, it's, it's, it, I can imagine it's quite hard for you boys and girls because you haven't seen where it was, you're just seeing where it is right now. If you can see how it started, it'll give you a better understanding, especially when you come to talking about the pros and the cons, strengths and weaknesses. If you have an understanding of what it looked like then, um, it should be easier to make that distinction and hopefully get those higher marks.